Hello everyone! For this video, I'm going to pattern and sew a dress inspired by one of the costumes worn by Morel in episode 1, season 10 of BBC's Hercule Poirot. I'm going to show how I drafted a similar pattern to the original dress, but make it suit my sewing habits with my choice of fabric and very compatible to my personal style, to make the costume very wearable in my daily life. In the episode, the dress was fairly fitted with a round neckline, no sleeves, with ring details and hanging decorations on the shoulder straps. To achieve a similar fitted but not tight look, I'm going to make the entire dress on bias with a spiral seam all around. This is a relatively easy way to sew a bias dress as there are very few seams and you don't have to worry too much about the material shifting. On the fabric choice, I'm using a cotton georgette with orange and blue prints on a black background, as the main attraction of a bias dress is usually being very drapey and flowy, a light slingy fabric is recommended. The pattern striking is relatively easy. First, you will need a basic bodice pattern, just take a bodice that fits you. Elongate it to your desired dress length and tape the front and back together on the side seam. Make sure you mark all the standard lines like the waist, hip and bust line. Draw a 45 degree line but make sure you do not disturb the other side seam, because we will tape it on the side later. Cut along the diagonal line you just made and match the two pieces together like this, and tape them together. I like my waist and bust slightly defined, so I make fish eye darts of 4cm wide on both original side seams and keep the original bust darts. Now shape the front and back neckline. On the original dress, the front neckline is a big round shape and the back neckline is a square shape with straight edges. I just do the same shapes on my pattern. I don't like my shoulder straps on bias, so I like to separate them and cut them on the straight grain. I cut two pieces of all the shoulder strap patterns so I can sandwich the seams to get a nice clean look. All the net patterns are finished now. As I will finish the raw edges by binding and the hem with road hem, I leave no seam allowance on the armhole and the front and back neckline, and I leave a 1cm seam allowance on the shoulder strap pieces and the hem. The pattern is done by now and you can cut the fabric with a diagonal seam parallel to the salvage and the shoulder straps on the straight grain. After cutting, mark all your dart positions with tailor's chalk or running stitches. I personally prefer stitches. They are a bit more time consuming, but they are more stable than chalk marks. Now is also a good time to make some binding tapes. I use straight grain binding for the back and bias binding for the front neckline and the armholes because they are curvy. To make binding tapes, cut 2.5cm wide 65cm long strips on both straight grain and the bias. Fold both sides to the middle as shown, and fold again until all the raw edges are hidden, and iron the entire strip. After all the prep work, we can finally start sewing. Please handle the pieces delicately, because things are very stretchy on the bias. Because the back is now on bias, we bind it with a straight grain tape to give it more stability. Just sandwich the raw edge into binding and sew along the entire back neckline. Cut off the excess tape. Now the most slingy edge is taken care of. We can sew the rest without worrying. Sew the diagonal seams together with a French seam. Iron the seam down. Sew all the dots together. Pull the marking stitches out after sewing and iron all the dots flat. Using the same technique on the back neckline, bind the front neckline and the armholes with the bias binding tape. Now move on to the shoulder straps. Sew each set of pattern right side facing each other on the 1cm seam allowance, leaving it open at the seam that will connect with the main body piece, and flip the whole thing inside out. Fold the opening 1cm inwards and iron all the pieces. Now you can begin to assemble the entire dress. Take the raw shoulder strap seam on the body piece and slide it into the shoulder pieces. Sew the opening down. Do the exact same thing on all four shoulder pieces and your dress is very close to completion. On the original dress, there are the little ring detail on the shoulder straps and I really like the feature. So I got two acrylic rings from the internet and I folded the shoulder straps around them, wrapping the rings and sew the straps with hand stitching. To make the hanging decoration on the back, I simply take three strips of fabric, sew them, Flip them inside out, iron them and braid them into a French braid. Then I attach the French braid to the back shoulder straps with hand stitches. Finally, I finish the hem with hand stitched row hem. 
You can totally finish the hem with a machine, but I just like the invisible look of a hand-stitched hem. And after hemming, our dress is finally complete.